colorectal cancer often develops silently and without symptoms. And in 2024 alone, it's estimated that over 150,000 Americans will be diagnosed. Today, board certified colorectal and general surgeon Cedric McFadden and patient Amishi Shah are here to tell us more on why it's important for people to take colorectal cancer screenings and prevention seriously. So we find that colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. And by 2030, it's estimated to be the leading cause of cancer deaths in those that are young. So this disease can affect any of us at any age. We also know it's a preventable cancer, that if we can find polyps in the earlier stages, we can prevent the cancer from even occurring, which is why we've partnered with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance to encourage you to go to getscreen.org to figure out not only what test should be done, but when that test should be done and how frequently that test should be done. And I'll tell you my story. Uh, when I was 45, I was very busy living life. I moved from the West Coast to the East Coast and just didn't take a lot of initiative uh, to go see a doctor. Eventually, in my late 40s, I started experiencing blood in my stool, which I, again, ignored for a few months. Eventually, I went to my family doctor. I had a fit test. It was positive for blood. And so she referred me to another doctor who did my screening colonoscopy. My family were shocked to find out that I had stage 3B rectal cancer. And then I was treated very quickly. I got chemo, radiation, and two surgeries. I lost two body parts, and I live with those consequences now. I know how very important it is to get screened and to get screened early. Uh, I had some great resources in my journey, which I would like to share. Um, there is a buddy program that the Alliance has uh, and a chat room. Uh, there's resources for patients as well as caregivers at colorectalcancer.org. But if you want to learn more about screening specifically, go to getscreen.org and there is a quiz. There's a lot that you can learn about um, how you can screen and how often.